All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm about to react to um, Sada Baby and 42 Doug, the escalating East Side Detroit beef. I didn't even know they had beef or whatever side they on. I didn't know they had beef. You know the video clip I seen today of that one dude pulling up on, what's his name? 42 Doug in the mall said something about Sada Baby, bro. It's a funny joke, bro. That's the only thing I know about these two. Huh? There's a rumor beef between you and 42 Doug. Mm hmm. Nah, we're not talking about that? Okay. I'm glad I gotta say things like this, man. You yeah, no comment, man. You keep on letting it. Think you're gonna let put a battery in your back to where you gonna grow the nest to try to do something to school. And you gonna mother. Dumbass. <clears throat> I had that pole and I was gonna. Down. You do that. Shots fired into an SUV, killing the manager and family member of a popular Detroit rapper. Police don't know if the rapper was the intended target or not. Oh, I remember this. <clears throat> Out of Detroit rapper T. Eastside Detroit beef. I remember. Dang. That is messed up, bro. His aunt, who worked as his manager, along with another young man, were all in the vehicle Tuesday night. That's when someone intentionally shot the vehicle, killing the 41-year-old manager. What up, gang? Back with the real. You know what's the deal. You know, I always deliver what the people want, and there have been many requests to cover the beef that's been brewing in Detroit I don't even City. listen to Sada Baby Sada or 42 Baby and Heard something Dug. Heard something. Both <laughs> these dudes have had the spotlight on them, breaking into major success. But how did they even begin beefing? One moment, there's nothing, then boom, they in a heated back and forth, even to the point where one was allegedly robbed with his own strap. Damn. So what we gonna do today is dive into it and see what's up with this Strong beat, gun. what caused the hatred, who robbed who, and who were the players. Let's get to it. Why, why do people be robbing people and y'all rich, bro? Make no sense. All right. So what do we know about both these artists you just and their got history that hood in your street? Bo2 Doug is no stranger to the street lifestyle. He grew up on a six mile east side of Detroit. What's the deal? This folks who do it for an east side of Detroit. And, this and at a young age, became a name known within the justice system. His gang affiliation has been long speculated, but he has ties to the six mile four two hustle boys, which is a faction. I'm not even trying to clown 42 Doug. No, no lie. Nah, I ain't even gonna do that to him, bro. I ain't even trying to play him, bro. Yeah, no, gotta give me an ad, man. What the heck? This piece of info is critical to his beef with Sada Baby. What's up with this man? Looking at me at like that. At a young age, Doug would be in the streets until getting caught by cops in 2010 and sentenced to four years for carjacking and felony firearms. Oh, possession. dang, I ain't this know about that. Hold on. 2010 and sentenced to four years for carjacking and felony firearms possession. This would then turn into a six-year bid after getting into an altercation with an inmate, which added on two extra years to his sentence. This had two one positive years. impact on him. He would begin penning raps, and upon his release, I ain't even know that about taking him, it serious. One of his early tracks, Mama, I'm Sorry, was motivation to keep going and take over the game. And that's what happened. Doug would meet Lil Baby over a dice game and ended up getting introduced to Yo Gotti and signed under both their labels, dice. OPF and CMG. Gotti, he came to Detroit, he asked me, like, you want to come out to the, uh, he did the big show, he like, you want to come out? I'm like, yeah. He brought me out, you know what I'm saying? Then next day we met, he like, what is it going to take? You know what I'm saying? Through all this, his rival side of Baby was also carving out his spot in Detroit history. This is where people tend to develop a bias in the beat, but we keeping it straight legit here. Nothing but facts presented for you to decide what's what. Sada actually came up on a seven mile east side of Detroit, but unlike Fo2 Doug, he ain't jump off the porch till he was 22 years old. Yeah, yeah, I know. It sound weird joining the gang at that age, but due to certain affiliations he had in the streets, he was swayed to that decision at that point and rest the blood. Yeah, I've been banging blood for a minute for a while and my shit is official you know what i'm saying that's important to what's to come he has ties to the crips as well who was cousin i swear vezo vez i was wondering like ah oh, see this stuff is coming up i swear vezo remember he made that song with lil dirk i know who he was i all these rappers connecting bro you guys are cousins but 
um, you know, I was reading that like you're from different sides of Detroit. Like, hey, yeah. how did Big Crip? I'm Big Blood. And he's done tracks with real street dudes like the late King Von and Fredo Bang. Both Fotu Doug and Sada Baby are two in Detroit's lineup to carry on their legacy, but the root of their problems, the one factor that had their destinies tied in this beef, is where they from. The Six Mile East Side Hustle Boys have long been in the gang world with the Seven Mile East Side Blood. Automatically, this placed them on opposing ends. Nerds! Have a home buying goal? Keep our ass, home, bro. But buy another. But another Detroit rapper was a spark that lit the fuel. T. Grizzly. Grizzly got in between hood politics and being one in the streets himself, he could have handled the situation better in my opinion. But my guess is that he was on business and not on the drama and was trying to give everyone a shot at eating while building his brand. And hell, ain't that the direction this dude should be heading? Building instead of tearing down? But yeah. So Grizzly did a song with four two twins called Secrecy. Then he would turn around and sign Sada Baby to his label. This started a whole situation between the 4-2 gang and Sada with him messing with both sides. This kicked off a back and forth between the 4-2 twins and Grizzly, with both calling each other out and what played off. This shit be real, bro. I got this then died. Brother in prison, is in prison, bro. Died over this shit, bro. This shit is real street shit, bro. It's real. Then died, bro. You can't play it like me close and then go running with my op and be friending my ops and think that shit supposed to be cool with me. Things will escalate between the two, setting the stage for the spillover into Sada Baby and Fo Two Doug's careers. You reached out to me for a feature. Don't know your man's because you, you know, you act like it's about Sada. <clears throat> Popular. Mm. I ain't reading this, man. The partnership between T. Grizzly and Sada Baby will fall out over his treatment at the label sometime after his auntie, who was both their managers, will be collateral damage in the street beef mm -hmm. as they're building up with one of his ops. But what's clear, his Put aunt, the who worked as his manager, along with another young man, were all in the vehicle Tuesday night. That's when someone intentionally shot the vehicle, killing the 41-year-old manager. T. was still juggling between the beef, maintaining his affiliation mm, with Fo2 right and Fo2 Doug, and releasing the track together, MWBL. All this was seen foul by Sada, but even after he was off Grizzly's label, the beef with Faux 2 wasn't off the table, and it was made evident at a party in Detroit where Faux 2 Doug joined his gang in tearing the stage up with a diss song while Sada was writing the tennis to perform his. Bun mayo, chicken pickle, bun. Bun pickle? Blasphemy! Perform <laughs> as well. <laughs> Things ain't pop off. This added fuel to the fire that was to come when rumors began circulating that Fo2 Doug had a hand in the robbery where Sada Baby got his chain and all of his belongings took with mm. his own gun. When Sada made it known he doesn't mess with Cleveland rapper Doughboy in an IG post to a fan, that rumor came into the light. Doughboy would first confront Sada via a vid, telling him to come clean with the truth. I've been quiet this whole time. It's been so long. I ain't said you don't want to respond to the fans. You just got to get on the internet and say something. I ain't said nothing. I don't want to tell the people what happened to you. You tell them what happened. Tell them what happened. Sada continues sending shots to Fo2 Doug and Doughboy, claiming it's all cap for clout. F*** up my d**k to say my name. Y'all niggas should be wanting attention to clickbait because I'm the GOAT. And that's when Doughboy let the world know what really went down. If you let fans provoke you to keep speaking on, you would... You should have been left alone, then you were goofy. Street. <clears throat> Go tell niggas how you got stripped in the studio with your own pole. <sighs> I'm gonna tell niggas how your chains got took. I'm gonna tell niggas how your bracelets, your watch, all that shit got took. Your your money, everything you had on you got took. I'm gonna tell niggas that. After Doughboy co-signed Sada being robbed, Po2 Doug was quick to step in and get his chuckles now that the truth was in the open. Well, alleged truth. I had that down. You knew that. You knew that. Sada stated his story, and he was sticking to it, saying it's all cap and just a show for their seven minutes of fame. Who took Sada Baby's turn? Nobody. That's all cap on the internet? It's super duper cap. It's super duper. Exposure and 
thinking the best way to bubble is to say they had something to do with some shit uh, with an artist who got way more going on in them. Doughboy ain't press me about shit. Now get your out my lap. The bad blood between the two kept building, but with T Grizzly already losing his aunt. Y'all see this, right? This is Gary. He usually wakes up, <sighs> but today Gary's waking hey, up early. Hey yo, hey yo, what's his name? Is Which was inside a hot spot. Decided, Come on, bro. Maybe you think they'd ease off the gas, but you know, ego and pride is a hell of a thing, especially being hot from the same city. Sada continues to show his disrespect to Doug. In an interview, after Big Sean dropped the star-studded Detroit track, Friday Night Cypher, Sada would hint at Doug being trash when asked about his verse. The beef just continued to build, the more time went on, and the back and forth wasn't stopping. From Sada shutting off Doug's music from being played while he's in the club. Hey, unless you want me to flip this bitch, I ain't gonna put my music back on, bro. You wanna keep playing niggas I don't f with. You better not play no Doug while I'm in this Fuck wrong with you. Sheesh. The up online with a blunt, smoking on Sada's blood gang affiliate. Today, 520, man, we going early blood. <laughs> we going early. <laughs> we did that to cut. We did that to cut. As it currently stands, the beef is gaining traction with both Sada Baby and Fo2 Doug have been on the chart. Bo to Doug dropping bangers with little baby like we pay. I swear to rappers that you don't think is in anything be in something, bro. For real. <clears throat> and Sada keeping up, getting Nicki Minaj on the remix of his track, whole lot of choppers. The ladies hasn't been looking the best for Doug, as his lifestyle from the streets has been catching up to him. While you see what happened with him and his ex-girlfriend, bro? Come on now. She ain't had to do that, bro. Come on now. What's wrong with her for real? who didn't grow up banging stays out of trouble doug will be picked up and arrested in may 2020 on a gun charge that's still ongoing while he's back out on bail this is the least of his problems as he was recently involved in an incident where goons sent shots at a music video recording with him and roddy rich some people heard 20 shots others told me maybe even more. I, I knew it was shots 20 shots god out of 30 or 40 shots when uh oh how much 20 shots others told me maybe even more than that of 30 or 40 shots all right all right people exaggerate 20 to th 20 to 40 is a big difference uh they believe it was multiple people firing as a group came in here during the music video shoot and i just got confirmation the two artists involved are uh, rappers 42 doug and um uh, roddy rich okay he said the name right Sada may have had a hand in the situation many doubt that he's gang like that and the situation was related to something totally different. Who's to say from who isn't? The one thing we know is that lives are. Yo, yo, insider, bro. Music. The, bro. Nothing was ever done. Bro. Nothing was you can ever give me finished. three ads throughout the whole really video. Three, four, max. You, you gave me like five, danger, bro. And the beef is growing the more situations occur. As of now, we on the sidelines looking in at where things go. Hopefully, both remain safe because Detroit would take a hit losing either one. For real. But look, look, look. I mess with the video, bro, for real. I like the video. I mess with the video. You got good content, you know? But them ads, bro, come on now. You ain't had to do me like that, bro. But hey, YouTube, should I make more videos like this? I am going to make more videos like this, by the way. I'm just saying. But hey, like, subscribe, uh, subscribe and comment. I'm on to the next video, bro.